we work in sales. Do you know anybody? Do you know anybody that has a receipt from the first sale that they ever did on their job? <laughs> I have. Oh the, I have the receipt of the first sale that I ever did on my job, bro. I, I will never. Three, two, one, and we're live. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on another episode of Jesus, your host, George Mora. And today, we've got a great guest for you today. As a matter of fact, yo, we've got a guest that actually sold me this MacBook M1 Pro chip. Yo, fucking top of the line, fucking MacBook, all right? We've got my boy, Sa. Yo, 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 what's good? What's good, Jesus Podcast? Yo, what's good, bro? What's good, man? Yo, yo I I'm, find it interesting the way that you spell your name is mad funny to me. Jesus? Yeah. G-E-E-Z-U-S? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you want to talk about it? <laughs> Actually, yo, t- let me know how you came up with that name, bro. All right, so, dude, I was over here. I was sitting here, just right here, like, on that couch, backwards, watching the TV, and I was watching the Impulsive Podcast. I was watching, like, I was really into podcasting, and it was during COVID, right? Yo, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just sitting down, and I'm like, I look up at it, and I'm like, dude, like, I could be doing that, like, right here. Like, I could be doing that. Uh-huh. Like, I just need to start doing something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I have, I've saved up a lot of money. You know, I've done good in investments. Like, it's time to start putting this money to play because if not, it's just sitting. It's, I just have cash sitting doing nothing. Uh-huh. Like, fucking, fuck it. Like, better better off to use it and actually do something with it instead of just letting it sit there and grow slowly. Like, you exactly. know what I'm saying? So, my head, my so my idea was like, yo, all right. So, I got to come up with a name for a podcast. I'm like, yo, like, what do I want, like, my brand to be? Like, really, like, what do I want my brand to be? So, I'm just like, yo, like, I'm going to spend so much time trying to think of the name. That I'm just like, yo, like, who's like somebody that's famous? Like, obviously, Kanye Yeezus, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So I'm like, I want it to be like, I want to be controversial. I want to be able to hit topics that other people are not willing to hit. I'm, I'm, I, bro, I like, to, I like to fucking like ride the line, like, between like controversy, controversy. Ooh, ooh. So, and like, I think Jesus is like, oh, like, you know, a big Catholic religious figure, right? So I'm just like, sure. yo, like, why not spell it differently? And then when people call me Jesus, like they can make up whatever assumptions they want to make up about it. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, the way I looked at it was Jesus is like a euphemism or like a, a synonym for like an exaggeration, right? Like, 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 like when you, when you see something like that's insane, you're like, Jesus, oh, Jesus, right? Like Jesus Christ, yeah. like, G- like, you know, that, that's like, like your Jesus. normal, yeah, that's like your normal reaction, right? So in my head, I was like, yo, like anybody that looks at my show or any, they're going to see the words Jesus, right? And then when they're going going on about their life and they see something crazy, they're gonna be like Jesus, and they're gonna think of my spelling. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Well, that's the most interesting thing is I think is the spelling because you, like, um, I associate Jesus with like this religious figure, right? Exactly. And then I kind of like see the way that you spell it, and it's like, mm, it's like, it's like spell. It's like it's, it's like what what kind of what kind of statement is he trying to make? You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's what I that's what I want. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what I wanted. I was like. So, and the reason why I did G-E-E-Z and then I did a dash U-S was because I wanted to be like G's and then like us, like the people who are on the podcast, it's like us, it's everybody, you know what I'm saying? It's not like just one person, it's everybody, uh-huh. it's us. So that's that's why I like kind of put the dash in between, like on the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just Jesus and then just, that's how that's how the Jesus brand was, was born, bro. So that's, that's the whole story behind it. I don't think I ever explained that. <laughs> no, that's definitely fire. That's definitely fire. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So, yo, anyways, the reason why I wanted to bring you on, all right, I, I've been to Best Buy many, many times, bro, but you are honestly one of the people that really caught my eye, like, in any, any, any time I've ever bought anything and I've never ever needed help with, like, technology or anything, like, somehow you've always been there, bro, which is kind of crazy, like, completely out of random, bro. You just, you've just literally been there with, like, energy, like, working on this shift, and I need help, yo, I need help buying this camera right here. Boom, you was there, bro. I need to help buying this fucking MacBook. You was there. Bro, I fucking um and I need to buy I need to help buying the second camera. Boom, you was there too. You know what I'm saying? So like, uh-huh. bro, we've met each other three different times completely randomly and your energy has like always stuck with me. And then I noticed and then the last time we had a conversation, you told me you you were you had a YouTube channel. So obviously, yo, as like a content creator myself, I'm like, yo, like I'm always scouting for like talent or like new people to like talk to. Or like network or like whatever. I want to know their life. And then I saw your video and I was like, yo, bro, like this kid's onto something. Like he's not just playing with this shit. He's actually really good at this. Bro, relax, dude. That was the only video that I've, the only like 
content that I was responsible for mm-hmm. that I've ever uploaded onto my YouTube channel. And I would have been, and I would have been like, you know what? Maybe he's like, maybe that's like a one hit for me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's like it's just something he tried and happened to be really good at. And also, you're really good at like talking about cameras and technology. But then you told me I'm going to school for media, media and journalism for journalism. Um, I mean, yeah, but I'm not going to school to necessarily be a journalist. I just think mm-hmm. that the skill set is very necessary um, in terms of what I want to do. So, damn, I feel like I feel like as content creators, our journey is going to is is really crazy. And it's like, like, even now, it's kind of unexplainable, even though like YouTuber has been around for like almost a decade. Right. Yeah. Even though like Twitch streamer has been around for like, I would say, like the better part of like five years, six years, seven years. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's not really look. It's not as looked down upon to say that that's something that you're aspiring to be, for example. Right. Mm-hmm. It's just that for me. I don't necessarily want to categorize myself as those things, mm-hmm. um, but I just see myself wanting to get into content creation. And uh, the, the avenues, whether it, whether whatever avenue that's going to be in, whether it's like TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, I don't think it's wise to like constrict yourself into mm-hmm. into necessarily what um, what medium you want to get into. Mm-hmm. But I think what I do like to do, and I what i have like realized i've liked to do ever since i was in high school but never necessarily had the uh the budget to actually do what i wanted to do mm-hmm. um was you know making just cool ass shit bro i just want to make cool ass shit bro and um just recently i haven't had a lot of time um because i started getting like you know I- i've been back in school for like the better part of like almost two years mm-hmm. just trying to get that degree out of the way but Quick question. How old are you? Yeah. Uh, 22. 22? I don't know why it took me a long time to answer nah, that but question. You, I mean, you, my, my point I'm is- I'm not like a girl or anything. Like, nah, but I'm, not, you, I'm down with giving my age. <laughs> honest, whatever. But you're, but you're, but you're young. You're, you're young, bro. You're 22 years old. I'm 26 years old, right? So- You do not look 26, and, bro. And, nah, bro. I look like I'm 17, bro. Bro, bro I look like it. I'm older than you. Shut that. <laughs> Everyone in the comment section, leave a comment below. Which one, which, which of us did you think was he's, older? Me he's actually him, 35. That's why he stuttered. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, nah, but all right. So my my point was, you were talking about YouTube, right? How's been around, how's been around for ten years? Twitch six years, TikTok basically like the last basically two years. Basically, was just born. Right? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are still pioneers in this generation, bro. This is this technology has never existed in the last one hundred years. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the we're like we're the like you said creatively, you want to just create cool shit, right? There's yeah. a all, there's a only one percent of people that can create cool shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they need to they need to create the time, they need to create the network, they need to believe in themselves, they need to build the skill up to actually create that cool shit, right? Just like I, anywhere else. No, I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree that like some people can have the money and some people can even have the time, but a lot of people don't necessarily um put out the content. Mm-hmm. Um and at the end of the day, the people, the people get to decide uh who who stays relevant and who doesn't stay relevant exactly and that's something that's really interesting about content creation nowadays is because before if you wanted to create anything you kind of had to be on like you know a, a network or a tv channel or mm-hmm. you know like you a know radio yeah, yeah pretty you much had to radio. radio or something like that um and now everyone has this freedom but eh, with so that freedom, at home. i think there's also the recognition that there there's a lot of like shitty content that's out there there's a lot. a lot of like trash because with the democratization of content creation, mm-hmm. um, that just means that any, you know, like you said, anybody can make content. And if anybody can make content, then that means that you can f- find content mm-hmm. about a lot of things. And more often than not, there's going to be like shitty content. Exactly. But the I thing mean, is I'm, that- I'm talking about in terms of value. I'm not talking about in terms of okay. like genre yeah. or like what. There's just a lot of like shit, like shitty stuff out there that is just like corny to me. Like, Oh my god! Like the most annoying thing to me is when people make like those um, Instagram videos and they use songs that don't necessarily fit with what they're talking about in the video. Yes, right. Especially like for example, like anime OSTs or like really emotional music and mm-hmm. like clips that aren't necessarily emotional. Yeah, it just gets me hella annoyed. Or just like shit that isn't edited correctly, or people that just oh my god, like like cuts that aren't necessarily like um smooth, like smooth and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm not trying to make myself out to be like this like leonardo dicaprio or like Yo, you're the michael best. bay or or but he has to say, sam you're raimi Steven type Spielberg, director bro? that knows that knows how to like edit and like do special effects and stuff but oh bro 
I don't know. It just seems about giving you stuff. I could tell that people don't don't put in like OD effort. Yeah, but here, here here's the thing. Here's the thing with shitty uh-huh. content, right? Is like you said, I think it's perspective based, right? So what's shitty to you might be good to somebody else. And the, and the most important thing is building that audience with the consistency, right? As everybody's first piece of content is going to be trash. Yeah. That's why a lot of people don't even start That's why a lot of people because start. they're like, yo, I don't want to create shit. I want to create something perfect, right? But guess what? You really only start, you, on, you really only get better through all the shit that you're making, right? And there's also a lot of content that's really low grade, low budget, from home, on TikTok. You're talking to your camera. You're just a good storyteller. You know what I'm saying? You use maybe you're using you're using soundtracks or emotional that don't fit with it, but but what you're saying is attracting somebody else, right? And you're using and you're using that sound to basically because it's a trending sound, so it'll so yeah. as long as your message is correct, people are gonna listen to it. That's why you can see like TikTokers make like fucking one million um, followers in literally a month, two three months. Sure, you know what I'm saying? They're creating stars just by people trying and putting out all this shitty content. That's why I'm saying like. The only way you're going to get better, we're still pioneers in this fucking space, bro. There's always going to be a new social media outlet and there's always going to be a new way to improve, right? And it's like, on which side are you are? Like, are you going to be the creator or are you going to be the one just observing? Yeah. Are you be- going to be the consumer? Or are you going to be exactly. the creator? Exactly. And yeah, then going yeah, back, yeah. going back to originally how I started Jesus was I was consuming and then I was like, and you yo, just thought like I can make some cool I shit. I could just do this shit. Nah, bro. I-, I have kind of like a similar story. So when COVID was crazy, like, um, and I was working at, Right before I was working at Best Buy and they didn't lay us off, but obviously they closed the stores down and I was just chilling at home. And um, I'm not going to lie to you for the first six months of the pandemic, bro, I was not doing jack shit. Like I was just chilling at home and like getting online on, I think Modern Warfare was like the newest Call of Duty at that time. Mm-hmm. Everybody was just playing Modern Warfare. I had I had uh, family members and friends that were running entire businesses and then they were just chilling at home and there was this whole phase of just... It was kind of cool though. Like everybody was at home just playing fucking video games every single day. We just we wouldn't be able to link up in real life, so we just link up in, in the game, PlayStation yeah. party chat and and you know just knock some heads on the floor and like search and destroy because we was just that good. But that's besides the point. Like it got to a point where I I would I just got bored with myself and I was just like yo like. I think it, it hit me when I don't know if you know who Andrew Schultz is. I know who Andrew Schultz so is. So I never I never listened to a podcast in my life except maybe like snippets of Joe Rogan up until that point. Mm-hmm. I but almost I, worked. Well, I'm, I don't want to say I almost did, but I almost applied to work for him as a, as a clip to work editor. For him as like a clip editor. Yeah. yeah. I, I actually have a funny ass story about that, but <laughs> we'll get into it later. But let, let me finish this one. So, um, I was just like sitting and watching Flagrant Two and. I just had like Andrew Schultz or like Akash Singh, like his co-host was like talking about how like, yo, like there's so many, there's so much opportunity right now with people sitting on their asses in home. Like there's so much demand for shit to get like created. And for like, he's like, he's like, you guys are literally getting paid to be at home and do absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, why don't you go out and actually make something from it? And at that time is when um i had my camera for a while but i didn't actually really use it a lot Mm -hmm. so when i started working at best buy like i was trying to make moves um through that career and at the beginning like when i started working there because i started i was one of the only people my age in 2017 because i started working at best buy when i was in my senior year of high school um that i got into that job and when i got into that job the objective was always like okay i'm only gonna be here for like two three years and then after two three years i'm gonna get the fuck out i'm gonna get I'm, i'm gonna buy a camera i'm gonna buy my at that time ps4 pro i'm gonna mm-hmm. buy like all my consoles because one of my dreams as a kid was to have every single console inside of my inside of my apartment and now yes. i do and i look at that shit every single day as an accomplishment low-key everyone thinks that it's fucking lame but to me it's not um because as a kid that was really important to me you know funny? i could relate to that real quick because i literally have a ps5 in my in my room bro like in the box though still oh and you I, still didn't even take it out no bro i, st- I stare at it every day and i'm like you know today's gonna be a day i play and I never fucking play it. Damn. Yeah, bro. But it's but it's like it's just that feeling of knowing that I have it, yeah. bro, and it's there. You know what I'm saying? Even though I, even though I don't touch it, but it's just like I. So I I, I relate to that. You no, know what for I'm me, like I got for example, like I bought an Xbox Series X, and I didn't even want necessarily the Xbox. But in my apartment, I just I don't know, like, cause as a kid, I've always wanted to like. I've always had to go to my family, like cousin's house or family's house in order to, to play, play games. like games and shit yes. like that because I didn't have that in my crib because my dad thought that video games was like the devil and shit like that and he mm-hmm. wouldn't buy it for me. 
Um, so I was like, yo, when I get my own place, I want to have every single console in front of me. So when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I see is my Nintendo Switch, my PS5, and my Xbox Series X, and they're all right next to each other. I'm like, yo, fuck it, bro. Like, you know what? If if me as a kid knew what I had today, like, he'd be like, yo, like, you fucking made it. I didn't fucking, make it yet, obviously. Yeah. But it's just... Like, but you made it to your five-year-old self. It, it, you know exa- what I'm saying? Exactly. And, that, and that's exactly. how I feel when I look at that PS5. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. made it's it to like, my fucking yeah, five-year-old bro, self. It's like, damn, I used to, I used to like fiend to go to like my cousin's house to like use their Xbox. You know what I yes. mean? And now it's like I have this shit, bro. And it's like I, I'm making fucking moves. It's like you know how people's like first Rolex or their first car is sentimental to them. Mm-hmm. Like that is that shit is sentimental to me. Yes. And anyway, 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 back to like the main topic. <laughs> what I was talking about. So. Like I said, I was working at Best Buy and then my, the plan was to always get out, get out, get out, get out, get out as soon as possible because the nine to five is like, man, I, the nine to five is good, uh, is a good opportunity to build yourself up until you figure out what you want to do. And um, I felt like Best Buy was going to like propel me into that. Um, before COVID hit, I was able to get a vendor position and vendor position basically means that you're able to work for a brand name and best buy simultaneously Mm -hmm. so i was able to work for nikon and best buy and i wanted to do that because i wanted to get more into photography and get taught by like the you know by photographers or by videographers yes and that's what they basically wrote in the job description is that i would get it i would be getting trained by like nikon's best photographers on a monthly basis right and right after i got that job the all the stores closed matter of fact i was supposed to go to colorado actually and um take like basically get trained by uh nikon sony and canon um on how to sell cameras but also how to use them yeah and i normally like every single year when when new people get hired um through like best buy canon sony nikon they're able to like like i said like go to either colorado or california on a yearly basis and learn all those things i wasn't able to do that yeah and i was so bummed out because that was one of the biggest reasons why i took that job why, in the first place exactly, yes. was to just go out and like learn that shit uh granted they did teach us over like zoom lame but i had to teach myself but essentially when all the stores closed down mm-hmm. i watched that podcast with andrew schultz and he was like yo like you could people have the opportunity right now to go out and make it for themselves like everyone is scared right now everyone is just at home and everyone is like depressed like the lions are going to come out and eat right now. Like, this is the time for everyone to go in and actually start doing shit. And I was like, bro, you know what? This guy is fucking right. So I picked up my camera. I started going out and doing, honestly, bro, work for complete, for completely for free at first. Um, I would do a lot of car shit. I would do a lot of, um, of little like model street photography shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I would get paid like, um, barely anything. But the people I would work for, like coworkers, sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, and honestly, I knew that I was getting underpaid, but to me, it didn't matter because I was honing my craft. And to be honest with you, I didn't necessarily want to get paid a lot because it wasn't at that time about the money. It was more about like honing my craft. I'm still trying to hone my craft to this day. You still are yeah. trying to hone your craft to this day. Forever. We're not. Yeah, we're not trying to like forever. like everyone's. Yeah. The thing is, you're not going to be doing it up. for free forever. That's the thing. But and 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 I I know your story. I'm actually it's very personal because my 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 friend edwin right he's he's also he used to be a co-host in the show right and he yeah, comes yeah. on every once in a while he also during covid i pushed him when we started this podcast to start his own photography um business right and i'm like yo like honestly just get shoots i'm like dm a person every single day like just dm them like yo like i'm willing to shoot you blah 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 whatever he's been he's now he's bro in a year he's been building up um his clientele he's been building those people he gets more and more shoots he can he can he um He's getting shot. He's shooting for companies now. Yeah. So it's like it's building. It's not completely always consistent, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's built up, and he's able. He's been able to make a lot of money out of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On the side, to the point where he can do his 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 um his part time job, which is like waiting tables, and then also shooting people on the weekends and making like three hundred, four hundred dollars. And then he's wondering at his job, like, yo, why am I working for like fucking twenty dollars an hour when I can literally be shooting? Or two hundred dollars an hour, yeah, which is like what a, I like charge. An extra two, three shoots, and I'm, exactly, I'm, I'm still trying to get to that level. Mm-hmm. Um, Hustling, yeah, bro. But the thing is, I'm not though. Mm-hmm. Like, cause I'm also like in school at the same time, and I'm, man, the degree is low key a scam, bro. Mm-hmm. College is no, 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 no. The college for the first two years for the first two years. Any college from LaGuardia all the way to Harvard, bro, it's a fucking scam. It's well, the, all gen ed classes yeah. just to keep you in the system for as much as possible, and it just takes so long to actually get into the shit that you want to learn and 
I'm finally getting into this shit that I'm actually yeah. in college to learn. And it's like, bro, like, why didn't you guys teach me this shit? Like when I first started school, because I actually took like a, a gap year and a half so that I could further my Best Buy career. Um, and I don't necessarily regret it. But at the same time, it's like, damn, this is college is it fucking sucks. Like I'm going to finish at the end of the day and get the degree. But it's also kind of holding me back from from um learning what i actually want to learn yeah. and learning how to like be a better content yeah. creator being how to be a better photo mm -hmm. editor how to be a better podcaster how to be um better in the skill sets that i want to learn yeah i don't see things in terms of like oh what do you want to be when you grow up a journalist a lawyer or this yeah right now i'm at a stage in my life that i kind of know what skills i want to learn and what skills i'm i'm good at and what skills i want to hone and then from then on, learning how to monetize that. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, I know that I, 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 I like making like YouTube videos. I know that I like talking about technology, for example, right? I know mm -hmm. that I like ga talking about gaming and I see the One Punch Man shit right there. I didn't know that she was into anime like that, but like talking about anime Some and shit anime, like that, yeah. right? Like I know what I'm interested in. I don't know necessarily what career that or I want to go into. How to but, monetize it. Yeah, but I don't saying. necessarily see that as a weakness. A lot of people see that as a weakness, mm -hmm. but I see it more as not restricting myself. Mm -hmm. think of it like this like if you here's, was, here's, here's the thing is that right now right you're like um well let's, let's let's jump into education real quick right because you clearly are hungry to be educated right and you're going to school thinking yo educate like school is supposed to educate me i'm supposed to be here and i'm supposed to learn the shit that i want to learn yeah. but i'm not learning it so and I, i'm still hungry to Matter learn this fact, shit right most of the shit that i learned was during covid when i was in my in, in your in the own bedroom house of my parents house yes. going on going to youtube university and learning how to edit learning how to do learning how to do podcasts i bro most of the shit bro that six months in covid when i was locked when i was locked up in my parents house and i was mm -hmm. actually like 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 sick of my life and wanting to make myself a better person I was teaching myself the most shit that I ever learned in my life within that six when I, within that three to six month period than I was in like the last two and a half years that I was in college, bro. And and, mm -hmm. and that's why like I just feel like mad people are being robbed today in American society, bro. When it comes to school in general, it's just I, I don't want to shit on college in in general because I feel like there is a place for it, but. I also feel like at the same time, there's just oh my god, bro, that shit is such a fucking scam. I'm I'm, I'm not something. saying I'm not saying there's no there's no place in college for certain um career paths, right? But the career path specifically that you want, which what I'm listening to right now from hearing you speak, is creative, right? Is you want to talk, you want to be able to put out, you you like camera, you like recording, you like editing, you you're in front in, of a camera, behind a camera, you know what I'm whatever, saying, bro. Right now, this is literally the only time in human history where you can sit at home, do those things, and make money out of it. The only struggle about it is the first two, three years are not going to be easy. The first two years of college are not easy. The first two, three years in Best Buy were not fucking easy. I know because I, I fucking worked in retail for six fucking months, sucked the soul out of my fucking life. I fucking went to, to, to restaurants, sucked the soul out of my life too, did two, three years there, worked my way up to bartender, worked my way to head bartender, Hit the top, fucking hit a ceiling. Where am I gonna go from fucking here? Do I want to yeah, do this bro. till I'm thirty, till I'm forty? No, you know what I'm saying. So do like, you want to have to ask for a raise like every six months? I'm like, no, kind of like your boss, even no. though you know that you have value. You don't. Yeah, dude. And I, and I'm not you saying that. And I'm not saying that you sh that people shouldn't go out and do these jobs. I'm saying that they should do it to learn. Yo, this is exactly what I don't want to do, but yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. but I'm gonna put myself through this struggle to learn how to basically like to learn to learn what other people are going through and why I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? And also yeah. to save up your money as yeah, well, exactly. you know, so so that you can yourself, so that you can follow your dreams, exactly, so that, so that execute on the fucking shit that you want to execute on, exactly, bro. so that because there's that are some NPCs that are living out here, bro. There's <laughs> exactly. that are some like bots that are just walking around every single day, waking up, going to their nine to fives, or even going to their jobs that they're making like a hundred, two hundred bands a year, bro. Mm -hmm. And they're still bots, like yeah. you're still doing shit that you don't want to yeah. do. And it's like I don't want to live that life. And don't get me wrong, like I feel like me and you, like it's it's it's. It's sometimes it's scary to not know when you're going to get your meal for the next day, which is why you don't want to leave your job. And it's exactly. scary to like exactly. to have the idea of like that you're going to get evicted and stuff like that. But I think what's also scary is complacency. And like and like imagine like, you know, these there's doctors out there, bro, that are depressed because they just be doing the same it's shit over and over, and over again over. every single day. They on retainer. They got to wake up at two in the morning if someone needs to get a surgery done. You're gonna have to show up to that hospital, bro. And most of them are in debt. Yeah. That shit, that shit, that shit weighs on you, bro. Like you said, like the finance weighs on you. The the thing about you is that you're thinking about you're thinking clearly about all these things, right? And you're seeing you're you're failing, you're testing things out and you're failing, right? And then you're learning from them. You're 22 years old, you're single. Other people, 
they're 35, 40, bro. Like they have two kids they got to support. You know, they can't be as creative as you can be. You know what I'm saying? They probably, like you said, NPC through their 20s, through their 30s, and now their 40s. And now they're like, yo, guess what? They can still fucking make it because all you need is a fucking phone. And you just need to be able to talk into the fucking phone and keep fucking failing and then find what you're good at. Like you said, you have a hundred different things you're interested in. Focus on three. You know what I'm saying? Focus on three for six months. If you're, if, if that's not bringing you any kind of joy, focus on the next three. That's you know what I'm saying? It's like, but if you know that creation is your thing, at least try it for six months the same way you try a job. And if you really don't fuck with it, don't do it. But in reality, when you're only going to get paid when you've done this shit for like two, three years, bro. I've been lucky to understand how business works. And like, I've been able to make a few thousands, a few G's off fucking TikTok. No money off YouTube yet. Not trying to make money off YouTube. I do this because I really genuinely fucking enjoy it. I did the passion of mine. At the end of the day, when I'm 35, 40 years old, right? Guess what? My kids can look back and be like, yo, this is what his, this is what, this is what dad was doing when he was 20, yeah, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He spent time putting into these videos and all this shit. You and also for a lifestyle, not a net worth. Exactly. That's also really important. Exactly. Because like if, if, if like, I've always thought about this is like, if, if someone told me like, bro, I'll give you not even like a high rise, I'll give you an apartment, um, a camera and you know, rent is paid, everything is paid and you have this camera, you go out and record and you have like a whole fan base, like 60K a year, like wait, bro, the, the money doesn't even matter at that point because you're living the life that you want to live. live exactly. And but, but now on the flip side, it's like, some people don't want that. Some people want, you know, to own a home in like North Carolina mm -hmm. and like, ha and be able to do that thing out as well. And so mm -hmm. if your lifestyle requires you to make 100, 200K a year, then yes, yeah, strive for mm -hmm. that, right? Well, the thing is you, if, you, if you, can still, you, you can still do all those things. You granted, know granted, granted. But I'm saying that to say like, some people think that when people say, oh, like, you know, don't, don't look for a net worth that, you're trying to be like a loser. You're trying to be a bum. You're not trying to make bread. No, everyone's trying to make money, but don't, don't get it twisted. Like don't, you don't have to go for a milli or for two milli. If yeah. your lifestyle that you want to live doesn't require that. that. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like then what's, what's that extra bread for? For nothing. You just, you just wasted it for no reason, unless mm -hmm. you're investing in stuff like that. But if investments isn't what you care about, if what you care about mm -hmm. is just making cool ass shit, yeah. if what you care about is like making TikToks about fucking aerobics or some shit, bro, mm -hmm. like. If, if that's what you want to do, then do that. And if as long as you're able to put food on the table and take care of the people that you love, buy the nice shit that you want them to buy. If that shit means 500,000 a year, then it means 500,000 a year. If it means 100,000 a year, then it means 100,000 a year. If it means a milli, then go for that milli. But at the end of the day, like there's going to be, it's, you're going to reach a point where the amount of money that you're getting is enough. Um, but it's important mm -hmm. to, like exactly. I said, strive for the lifestyle before the network. Exactly. I think, I think what oh, important what you were saying is like it's really to be a minimalist and understand the instead of buying materialistic things to buy things that are valuable to you that you're going to actually use every single day yeah. that actually like i said provide value in your life like you said if your lifestyle is fifty thousand, you know you don't need a million but if you are making a million you're living your fifty thousand lifestyle don't change and buy a bigger house buy all these things take the milli instead of investing it in stocks or finance that you don't like right Invest it in a bigger video. Facts. Who's the Mr. biggest? Beast. Who's the biggest fucking entertainer that, that does that? Crazy, Mr. Bro. Beast, bro, spends a uh, one point four million on a video every fucking month, bro. Yo, and he still fucking hits views, bro. You know, so he broke this shit down like a science because he put yeah. in. He's also 22, 23 years old. You know what I'm saying? So it's like there's <laughs> zero excuses for any fucking person out there, bro. Like there, there, there just really is. There really is because I've I've seen. All stories, and that's why I like bringing people on because I like Bro, to hear their story. you don't feel like story. sometimes it's too late. Like you'd be seeing all these nope. like high schoolers and nope. high, these high schoolers and like like college students or not even like middle schoolers that are just that are just popping off on YouTube, and you're just like, bro, you don't feel like, damn, bro, I'm in my like. I'm in my 20s and I'm I don't have a million subs like nah bro never it's clip for me bro I can't I can't never. I can't get clout no more I'm not cool with the kids never, anymore never bro never that and that's the thing is uh, that like with your audience you have to grow with them you know what I'm saying as long as you're yeah, good yeah. you what you are good at bro is your your fast talker which keeps attention rate high right remember what how do you get monetized by keeping people watching your videos how do you keep them watching your videos by get, gathering their attention how do you do that by telling them something they want to hear or something that you're interested in, that you're hyper focused on, right? That that's what provides views. When you get views, then guess what? The brands are gonna come in. Hey, guess what? True, true, true. Do this one product. How do I know about brands? Because one, I've I've collaborated with brands with Ridge Wallet. They send me a free fucking wallet. 
Um, TikTok, bro, like I said, when we were talking about shitty videos earlier, I made one shitty video and I milked the fuck out that shitty video to 15 million views to 186,000 followers in like less than a month, bro. And I couldn't believe it. But like, I was like, bro, I'm like, this is the stupidest fucking trend I ever got big over, bro. And, it, and, I'm, not, and I'm like, but wait, that's that's another thing. Though. And I was I, able to generate revenue, You kind of don't get scared from that, though, because bro, that's I, the thing is I don't want to make, I, I don't necessarily want to make content that is. Uh, I don't want to make videos about shit that I'm not like into. And exactly. I'm scared. I'm scared of falling into like um man, like who's a content creator that f- like fell and like didn't wasn't able. Bro, like for example, gamer YouTubers, right? There's mm-hmm. a lot of COD YouTubers out there, for example, like And they, and they have to only stick to COD, basically. Yeah, they have to stick so to one of, game. So FaZe Jeff, for example, he was one of the examples of like people that uh in the early days and when Call of Duty was like crazy, he couldn't play the other games that he really wanted to like play on his videos because mm-hmm um he just didn't see like he would be taking a risk number one and number two like he's just known for doing like call of duty Mm -hmm. so um and that's just one example so it's like you don't feel like sometimes like i'm assuming you're talking about that gym tiktok that you made right that like you popped off no i didn't pop off over gym tiktok well i did make a whole new gym tiktok let's say let's say you were tiktoker (laughs) and you make shit based off of like gaming or anime and then like you make a one-off tiktok about like Mm -hmm. gym and then like suddenly that shit goes off and then now fuck bro you have the need to like make this content about the gym shit over and, and over and over and over and over, and over, yeah. and over again. Yeah. But it's like, do you really fuck with it? I, and the money's rolling in, but... So, like, yeah, I don't want to get stuck in, into mm-hmm. that cycle either where I get clout or I get influenced based mm-hmm. off of something that, you know what, I, I might even like exactly. it, but it's not... I don't want that to be what I'm all about. Exactly. And th- and that's why, like, for example, for FaZe, for me, for example, too, because I, I had that same thing, that same roller coaster where I was on the way up just by milking the same fucking trend, the same fucking video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to be creative and do something different. I tried to be more creative and it wouldn't fail if I stuck to basically the same exact video. So you have to be willing to understand, are you doing this for money or are you doing this to be creative? If you want money... This is the way to money. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing it to be creative, if you don't want to be suppressed, then you have to be willing to take the risk and jump and do something different and be marketable. At the end of the day, people just want to feel something. They want to have emotion. They want to, you want to bring them on their journey with you. You know what I'm saying? And that's a lot harder than it sounds. Like it's, it sounds like it's easy, but it's really hard because you have to, you have to be very creative in giving people what they want in in your way in, in the way that you want to show it, right good examples of marketers are like logan paul like jake paul right like guess what they're like all right cool um vine is dying what am i gonna do i'm gonna jump onto youtube vlogging daily can you repeat that same thing no but can you see that tiktok is kind of like vine yes and then you know maybe transfer your uh, traffic your audience to youtube in in a clever way you know what i'm saying yeah. there's a lot of youtubers there's a lot of kids 18 19 years old figuring this out and just by trying, they maybe they failed for the last four years. And now when they're 19, when they're 20 years old, they're like, all right, now now I got the handle, right? Because now I've been on the roller coaster. I'm also a gambler. I'm an investor. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I know the highs. I know the lows, bro. I've lost. You don't, like, I've taken a 25K lick, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like That's a loss, bro. Crazy, you know what I'm saying? Bro. I lost my fucking laptop after, after losing 25,000 in stocks by trading. I fucking lost a $4,000 laptop with all my shit inside of it you know what i'm saying so like i know what loss is but guess what that shit don't break me bro you know what i'm saying i've experienced it i've i've gone through the emotional roller coaster and i just keep i just see yo what am i in control of and what, what am i what am i not in control of i know i need a laptop because either way i'm getting a podcast out next week yeah, yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying i don't give a fuck if i lost 30k it is what it is lesson learned you know what i'm saying yeah. and it's like the same thing with phase or whatever yo guess what he he's stuck to doing cod because he's stuck to doing cod yeah. he needs to be able to market himself and do something different and be be willing to take that that risk and lose some followers to do something that he wants because he's already making mad money like you said the only reason why he'd be doing facts, that facts. is to just fucking it's just, nah, it's just for the nowadays money nowadays you'd be seeing him doing like the Elden ring videos and Requies. Requies is mad funny yeah exactly the, the boxing the the boxing uh persona that he does that shit is hilarious exactly but at the end of the day yeah. it's everybody's journey is different everybody got their own story to tell and, and that's what and that's why i brought you here too bro because you're you're literally you're from the trenches you know what i'm saying you're from new york bro and if anything that andrew schultz has been talking about this last week is literally about yo hustling bro like we're we're a city of dreamers yeah. We can literally do whatever the fuck we want. Everybody in the entire world wants to come here. Where are your parents from? Palestine. 
why they come here? We're Palestine, by the way. You know what I'm saying? But and yeah. they fucking came here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking my my mother's from fucking Ecuador, came here. My girl's from fucking Russia, came here. Everybody in the entire yeah. fucking world wants to come but here. But do people bro. really want to be in New York City now? Yes, bro. Why? Nah, yes. Bro, you what do you, you mean? No. See the news though, low key. Bro, there's nine million people here. What do you mean the news? Fuck the news, bro. They're gonna say bro, whatever. No, 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 no. You don't see like people be like moving out. New Yorkers be moving out to like Virginia and shit like that, bro. Because all the jobs be moving out and shit. Like, bro, the jobs are from home, bro. What do you mean? Everything yeah. is from home. Everything is from home now, bro. There's this whole supply chain shortage that you've actually experienced yeah, working yeah, yeah. at Best because Buy. Because, like as a nine to five person and like not seeing customers walk in every single mm-hmm. day, like that shit takes a toll on you. And like one other thing um, about that is I really did love my job. I do like my job now, but I used to dead ass love. My- Bro, per- this is this is some fucking crazy shit. And I do you know the amount of people that work in retail, right? Yes. That probably work in sales. Do you know anybody? Do you know anybody that has a receipt from the first sale that they ever did on their job? <laughs> I have, oh the, I have the receipt of the first sale that I ever did at my job, bro. I, I will never, I literally have it in my binder in my, in my parents' house. I, I sold, I remember my first customer ever, dude. I sold him a PS4 and two games. I still have the receipt to this day of that customer. <laughs> Blacked out his information. And all that <laughs> I was gonna, say, I was gonna say, I was gonna, bro, come I was on. gonna be like, <laughs> I was gonna be like, okay, go expose this him, may bro. or may not have happened. <laughs> this may be hyperbole. Um, don't best, fire me. Best yet. Buy, don't watch don't, this. Best buy, fire. don't watch this. Don't don't fire me yet. I'm gonna need like two, three years. Got to get that like full time benefits <laughs> with school and shit. And then after that, y'all can clip me. I don't care. <laughs> but I kept that receipt, bro, because it's like, like I did. I took so much pride in that shit, and mm. I had so many um. Like I had so many cool ass interactions, like, and you were one of those people that came into the, in, into the store, like those couple times that like I fucked with heavy because damn bro, we don't have interactions like that anymore. Mm-hmm. Like all the, yes, all, you're right. all the, all the you're smart right. people, bro, they all, they all buy their shit online. <laughs> they don't really come to the store for like advice and shit like that. Back in the day, like, dude, it, it meant so much to me to be able to like have a kid walk in and be like, oh, I want to buy a, a gaming PC. And they would come in with their parents and like being able to convince their parents to spend like a thousand dollars extra and it's like okay yeah bro we we breaking your wallet but guess what your kid is gonna be the happiest motherfucker in the crib bro mm-hmm. he gonna be spending 120s with that with the best monitor best pc and they would come in a week later be like yo like I, yo thank you so much for like telling me to get x y and z um you know my camera customers bro i'd fuck with them heavy yo i'm subscribed to like my customers youtube channels and they have like 30 40 50 subscribers i still watch their shit because it's like it's just cool to me to be able to impact people people impact people's lives in that way Mm -hmm. and it's just like we don't have that anymore man because all this shit is out of stock i basically just walk around the store for eight hours and just tell people nowadays like we don't have fives no oculus no uh, well xboxes yeah sure but like those like meaningful interactions don't really happen anymore bro uh, because you don't have anything to sell them yeah we don't really have like a lot of shit to sell and even the shit that we do sell it's like People just come in and they just want to buy the item and like just call it a day. And it used to not be like that. And that's why like I've kind of like fallen out of love with like doing what I do. Mm-hmm. Um, and nah. why I've kind of like wanted to like now gear myself more towards making cool shit. Like I said, mm-hmm. cool shit being like like this. After like, Effects. Yeah, well, or, no, yeah, After I don't Effects. Know. <laughs> fucking music videos uh, going to fucking Times Square and like taking pictures of random ass people and be like, yo, like what you think of this this photo of you? Like, oh no, 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 no money, no money. No, bro, it's free. I'm gonna send it to you right now. <laughs> like just funny, funny ass shit and cool ass shit like that, man. I have just so many ideas, but um like I said, bro, it's li- just hard, man. It's, that, it's so hard. That one story, I'm gonna take it and fucking clip it, bro. And this this is going up <laughs> on fucking TikTok where you said, I'm literally keeping the fucking my first sale receipt ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, like, but the way you just spoke about that, the way you literally were like, yo, like I'm I'm I bring parents in or like when parents come in to buy things a uh, gaming PC for their kids, right? Yeah, like you'd be you'd sell them the emotion, you know what I'm saying? You're telling them but like, the yo, because people, that because that's how you felt. You were exactly, late. You were late. I would get so annoyed when people are like, yo, you're so good at j- your job. You're so good at like selling. Like it's like, bro, I'm not selling shit. Like that's why I'm like so good at what I do is because I'm not selling you something to make to make money numbers or statistics. Yeah. Or by the way, Best Buy workers don't make commission for the most part. <laughs> but like, not even like to 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 hit numbers and shit like that. It's just because I genuinely like. Like I genuinely want the best for you, mm-hmm. um, as not even as a customer, as like a gamer or as a content creator or as a, um, as a like TV watcher, bro. Like if you walk mm-hmm. in and you're like, and I know that you have a PS5, 
and you're not buying a TV that has 4K 120 hertz, I'm going to look at you stupid. And it's not because I'm trying to make the commissions, but it's like, bro, like you're buy you have a PlayStation 5 and you're not going to buy a 4K TV. Yeah. Bro, you want to make slow-mo YouTube videos and you're not going to buy a camera that has like 120 frames per second. Mm -hmm. It's like, bro, it's bigger See, than black and white. That's why, that's why, that, no. <laughs> That that's literally that's why I fuck that's why I fuck with you so much, bro. Because every time I talk to you, I never felt like I was being upsold. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I felt like if you were upselling, it's because it's something I, I genuinely valued and yeah, needed. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and like For that's sure, that's important in any. But you can you can take that skill and take that shit anywhere in fucking life. That's that's what's yeah. so great about it. Because I used to be the same way bro when it came to fucking retail i started models the first six months in models i was uh, happy i was like yo i used to come to the store all the fucking time well, as a models fucking kid i live the i live across the fucking street i fucking i love the sports section yo get this bat for your fucking kid yo i played fucking soccer get these cleats the ronaldo cleats or the, the messy cleats whatever the fuck it is bro yeah, like yeah, i'll find that shit in the day. fucking back i don't care if i gotta dig through shit like, bro, I was just as energetic. And then eventually, six, seven months down the line, I was like, that shit just sucked the soul out of me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, it sucks the soul out of you because, like, all mm -hmm. these retail stores, like, they just want you to sell, like, I mean, I'm well, they don't. They don't care. Bro. They don't really care about you because they're a company. They're a chain, and it's and it's and understandable. It's like, I'm, I'm not gonna be like one of these like socialists that is like, oh, like fuck corporations. Like, I get it. Like, yeah, I get it. Like, it's, it's business is business. Business, business. but. Man, don't be saying shit like you gotta be like don't be like acting like y'all human and shit and that we have family you know what i mean like yeah. that shit at the same time too it's like you kind of like asking for people to shit on you if you're expecting people to believe to buy into this idea that like we're a family oh oh yeah, yeah. I but like i don't i don't want to get too much like into the retail bullshit like what i mean what else what well also about? also 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 so like are you are i wanted to ask you about school schooling okay. like are you doing it a lot for your family more than anything? Because that, be that's honest with you. that's that's why I went to school. Yeah. I went back to college three times, bro. Because like my mother was so like she, she literally just, cried. She, right? she, no, 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 no. Yeah, oh, she she, oh of course oh, she's yeah, crying. Yeah, she's yeah, cried yeah, for many yeah. different things. But fucking, she drilled it in my head that the only way I'm gonna be <laughs> successful gonna be is if I go to fucking college. If I get this fucking degree. If I get myself in debt, bro. And I was just get like, yourself in debt. Get yourself in debt, bro. Because I gotta that's fucking pay five thousand dollars. I, I got to pay $5,000 to fucking go to one semester of class or whatever because I wasn't getting FAFSA type shit because yeah, I was yeah, making yeah. money at a restaurant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, juggling these things. And at the end of the day, I was like, yo, like, I need to be self-disciplined with the way I learn, the way I teach myself things. I need to dedicate one to two hours. I need to know, one, how I learn. I need to know how to get my health. I need to prioritize my health, my fitness. Yeah. So yeah. that I'm actually able to be active and I'm able to work my brain like a muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah. why, bro, I could do like MMA, jiu-jitsu. I've done all this shit. That shit you know fire. I'm seeing you on the timeline, bro. You'll be going crazy, bro. I go. I, I'm going to need you to train me one day. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, got a, I got a gym right here. We can fucking train right now. <laughs> oh, shit. That ass. After yeah. Ramadan, after Ramadan, I'm still fasting, bro. <laughs> I don't know how people go. I, last Ramadan, I was able to go to the gym and fast at the same time. Mm -hmm. but now bro because i'm doing school and work at the same time bro it was crazy because that shit is mentally draining yo respect for but, the for the fasting bro that shit is in nah, that shit that shit's insane nah, for me it's nothing bro i'll be just chilling at home but kyrie irving though that man is crazy what's he doing he's he he's a muslim he fasts and he he's playing right now in the in the they're playing right now in the and not playoffs but like in the series or whatever. how many called. hours do you guys fast do you fast um early? so it's not every single year it's based off of the lunar calendar mm -hmm. so in, in um the islamic faith you cannot you can and during the month of ramadan you cannot eat from sunrise till sunset so okay. if it's the winter then that's basically nothing that's like what like okay. six seven eight ten hours okay but now now we're getting closer to summer every days are getting longer right and then they killed off the fucking uh the oh no well i guess it doesn't matter because the sunrise or sunset i was saying the didn't they kill off fucking like daylight savings or some shit like that well yeah but that's not really a big deal. yeah i was gonna say that probably, that's not really a big relevant. deal because yeah, that yeah. wouldn't really change anything yeah. um the yeah man it's like the days are getting longer every single day so how many hours is it usually on so like let me see like so for for tonight i can eat until four i think four four 50 or 440 in the morning mm -hmm. and then after 440 in the morning i cannot eat until 7 745 like 740 wait that's it that's what do you mean that's it bro, bro i fast like 12 13 hours a day bro I, every yeah, day bro well, i'm mad so here's the thing though here's the thing though you do that with your schedule in mind yeah, but like yeah. when you're when you're when you're doing it 30x mm -hmm. 30 days back to back to back to back um and like the thing is for me is like i mean 
yeah, I'm kind of complaining about it right now, but like doing school and work at the same time, I, doing, I don't have control yeah, over my schedule. I yeah. kind of force myself into it because mm -hmm. I'm technically working seven days a week, five days a week for work. And then the other two days is just a fully stacked, um, a fully stacked uh, school schedule. And mm -hmm. usually what I do is I would, um, can't you just substitute for throughout the day? You cannot drink water. No, no, you eat no, 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 no. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, can you, can you substitute school and like just to go online classes? Yes and no. There's some classes that have to be taken like in person, dude. I'm telling you, college is a scam, bro. How many? No, I, bro, bro. I know, I know, bro. Believe me, I've I've spent a lot of money on it, uh -huh. and I fucking went back three times. I finished one oh, year. Shit, you went back three times. Three times, bro. I I don't feel bad now. I went I, back. I think yeah, I went back once. Bro, I bro. Might trust, leave again. Trust me, I <laughs> I am I am probably the master at trying things and fucking them up or stopping them and uh -huh. then picking them back up. And, and then absolutely eviscerating them and then yeah violating vi violating and then fucking probably dropping them my thing was like is school valuable for me like yeah. I've, sp I've spoken to 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 doctors to psychologists my grandfather's a lawyer right like you know engineering software engineering maybe even software engineering probably not nowadays like you know yeah. you can learn you can learn everything online yeah, yeah. bro Google you certifications can be, microsoft certifications. exactly like through self-discipline through just teaching yourself things bro and learning how to market yourself towards other companies or whatever dream job that you want, as long as you, as long as in mind, you know what they want and you are valuable in that aspect, you're going to get the job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You like learn how to sell yourself too. Exactly. And, and, and then, and then that's, that's where the, that's how you market yourself. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you got the right energy. You want to make sure you're a good fit for this company because if, if, uh, if I work for an employer and they're like, no, you need a fucking, you need a college degree or whatever. Right depending on the job mind you but if it's like media or podcasting or whatever and you're like yo you need you need a degree in media science or bull, bull, some bullshit for two years i'm be like suck my dick i'm not gonna work for you bro like if you think that's actually valuable compared to compared maybe to your entire portfolio compared to my portfolio and what i've act and the work yeah, i've yeah, actually yeah, done yeah. you know what i'm saying like you're gonna hold a degree a piece of paper more valuable than the fucking portfolio I'm not fucking working for you. Clearly, clearly we don't see things the same yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And you're on the down, you're on the decline from that point on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, for yeah. me, I'm on the fucking incline. What does say about your business and the people that you're recruiting into your business? Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's the mindset that a lot of people don't think about. Because a lot of people remember when they go to work for somebody, what do you think about? Money. You know what I'm saying? They're like, I need, I, I need to put food on the table. I'm not really thinking about like my fucking um, choosing the right kind of employer that I want to work for for the next few years or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Everything's a journey and everything should be kind of planned out because if you don't plan, you plan to fail, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, so, so that's the same way I looked at schooling. It was just like, yo, like, I'm going to be here for four years, bro. I'm going to be fucking 28 or 27 or some shit like that. And I'm like, and then what, bro? Like yeah. that's, that. then I guess I guarantee you once I'm done with school, I go to look for a job and be like, you don't have experience. I'll be like, yeah, no shit. I was in fucking school working in a fucking restaurant trying to pay for the fucking classes. And then after I clock out, I got to go home and do fucking homework that I don't care about because I'm reading fucking Lord Byron poetry. Don't never going to speak about him in my life except for my fucking po on a podcast to bitch about it. And, it. and and I was like, yeah, I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to do this, bro. I was I was out, bro. And at that point, I'm just like, yo, like business and money, bro. If you want to make money, it's simple as you see somebody's business. What value can you provide to them? Convince them how you, how you can give that value. If you got to work for free, work for fucking free, bro. If that's a, if that's an employer you really want to work for, work for free. Yeah. And I guarantee you, bro, if you're if if what you're saying is valuable and it provides them money and ROI, guess what? You get a cut. And even if you don't end, exactly, and even if you end up not getting paid, you can um you take that skill set, you take it somewhere else where you are valued. Exactly. So yeah, it's exactly. just it's just the way that you move, exactly. bro. You be spitting facts, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, exactly. man. Exactly. Yo, bro, I've, I've spoken to a <laughs> lot of fucking people, bro. A lot of people, bro. But I, I, like I said, I see that energy in you, and that's that's exactly why I brought you on this fucking podcast. But speaking of like what happened um, college wise, so mm -hmm. um, let me see. I graduated high school in 2018, and then I went into school for like a year. Um, I left school in the middle of the semester. And without my parents knowing, I basically like went full time in Best Buy right after I dropped out. Yeah. So that I could like pursue, like I told you, like the, the working like in the camera department. Yeah, at like the same Nikon. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The base buff, that's fine. Um, I got that position and then I was able to like finesse it and nobody knew for like almost a full year that I dropped out. And then my mom found out and she was fucking livid, bro. Like depressed, crying and shit like that. Like, oh, how could you do this to me? And shit like that. Loki, though, it's like, are you really scared for me or do you just want to have 
something that you're going to be able to talk about when you go to like, you know, family dinners and shit. Exactly. Like, oh, my, my son, because, you know, I'm Arab, right? And I, mm-hmm. I know a lot of brown people can fucking relate to this shit. But it's like, oh, my son, he goes to the uh, to the college and his degree is, uh, you know, Ivy League school. and da-da-da. Bro, like, that shit is lame to me, bro. Yes. That shit is so lame to me. Yes. Um, Granted... I'm gonna get that. I'm, I'm gonna get that shit done regardless because the, the the degree for me for journalism is it's like I feel like as creatives like we have this like fire inside of us, right? But fire, right? In terms of like what it is, it's 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 a gas. It's it's not really controllable. It can it can it's it's not it's not um it's not uh like like a solid where it's like more constrained. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Where it has more structure. Yeah. And that's what how I see being creative. Getting this journalism degree is kind of is kind of going oh, to wait, teach me. Are you are you in, in the frame? Am right? I in frame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, in frame. Good. Okay, good, good. good. Um, sure. is gonna teach me that like structure, how to investigate, how to talk to people, how to be able to convince people, how to be able to call people out on their bullshit mm-hmm. without them walking out on me. Exactly. And yes. To let them continue embarrassing themselves on an intellectual level. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? There's a lot of like posers out there on you know online that think they know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, like, and I'll give you like an example. Like, rem- I don't know if you watch Abba and, Abba and Preach on on YouTube. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're they're like the, the they're the two black Toronto not Toronto. I think they're Canadian comedians. And they go on there and they're talking. They're they're talking. They're basically talking about like women, like putting down women, kind of almost. Or That's like, Fresh and Fit. That those those fucking. I mean, no, 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 I've I've seen Fresh and Fit yeah, too, but I know I know don't the worry about those bums. I know the other guys you're talking about too. The they're the, the Abba and Preach. I know, got I know. Pulled them. out by, but they do the same thing. Yes, but not really. They're not like red pill. What you're referring to is more like red pill. Like, oh, like, you know, men, you're the prize. And like women are, oh, what's it called? They have to learn how to be obedient to men and mm-hmm. shit like that, bro. Like, whatever. I'm kind of like oversimplifying it, mm-hmm. but, you know, we can get I, I know who you're talking about. I, I've, I've watched later. the videos. I've watched the videos. So, they yeah, do reaction they, videos on they, YouTube. Like, oh, man, what, why the fuck did we even bring them up in, to begin with? You were saying they're like fake. They're like, or no, like no, they don't really them, know what they're talking. Not, not them, not them, not them. I'm saying, I'm saying fresh and fit, not I've been preached. Oh, they like, got they had so they had this not all they had this like intellectual altercation with like someone named Hassan Anabi. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know who that is. He's like a Twitch streamer. He'd be hanging out with like sometimes like XQC and like and like Pokemon and stuff like that. Okay. So um there was like this whole remember the the transgender um the transgender woman that con- uh, that competed in the NCAA like championship or whatever in I think Florida or some Florida. Okay, I didn't know about that, but okay, dude, how do you not know about that? But basically, there was this. Transgender, I don't follow. I don't there was follow. this transgender woman, um, that she competed against females on like a high. I believe it was like a high school or college level, and was able to get first in like within the tournament. Yeah, but before. So originally born a male, um, turned into a female, female, into a female and then competed identifies a female. as a female. Um, before she was like in those tournaments against those girls, was competing against men. Wasn't like the end all be all like better than every single other man, but was pretty good. Mm-hmm. And then conveniently, you know, is competing against females and like absolutely bodying them in every single metric. So they basically came out with the video saying like, okay, like you identify as a female, that's cool, but it's like, it, you should not be able to compete against women. They're like, that doesn't make sense. Now, whether you agree yeah. with that or not, that's besides the point. The This other like Twitch streamer, right? Basically like responds to them and goes, they don't know what they're talking about, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Not even like, not even acknowledging their arguments, just straight up assuming that they're like transphobic, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what like, and and they're able to basically make videos in response to that and convince people that it's like, no, bro, you, you're capping right now. Like you're trying to make this like a whole like label argument and shit and make yeah. us seem like we're bad people when we're really not. And I feel so like- the comedians made the response video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To him. It's, it's, it's a whole saga, bro. I have to put mm-hmm. you onto that shit because yeah, yeah. it's hilarious. And um, well, I, I know Twitch streamers, they live a life where they pretty, I've seen a lot of Aiden Ross. He, they pretty much, they just, they live off reacting to like just clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just watch yeah. it for their audience yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they just, they, whatever comes that's, into their head, they're just saying it. Granted, that's a lot of Twitch streamers and that's not the only reason why they're like, they're successful. They also do a lot of other shit, whether they like do like GTA or like, you know, Overwatch or like, they, they, they usually it's, they became famous over other things. Yeah. And because they already cultivated an audience, they're able to do mundane shit, like reacting to shit. Mm-hmm. And that's where they're able to get viewers. But that's like, like I was saying earlier, just the the ability to be able to respond eloquently to other people and expose their bullshit. I feel like that journalism degree is going to be able to solidify the fire that, you know, that's inside of both of us in, in terms of like being able to create content, but also being able to hold yourself accountable and being able to hold other people accountable 
without seeming like you're condescending. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, how, okay, just a quick question. Sure. How, all right. How can, um, what are you learning in school that I cannot learn from home? Like specifically in that, in that, with what you're talking about, with like, you're um, talking about how to be more eloquent in your argument, right? Sure. So it's like, I can learn that at home. That's true. You know what I'm saying? I can learn that just by being on the mic, by speaking to other people, by communicating. That's that's, that's true, but and, and more effectively than even going to school. Sure, sure, it. sure. So I would put degrees into two categories. Um, w would you say that to be a doctor, you have to go to college? For a doctor, yeah, of course. Yes, you do. right, yeah. because you have to to be able to open a practice, you have to have the degree. It's it's not even just a degree. It's the fact that you need to go to the ER while you're while you're like getting your doctorals or whatever after yeah, yeah, the four yeah. years you need to actually go into the er get that experience amongst yes. other doctors and it's also very scientific very factual based you know and and again these sciences are always changing and updating exactly, with time right. so it's like that's that's why that profession makes sense for schooling would you say that's the same case when it comes to being a lawyer yeah okay right mm -hmm. so we've established that there is a connection there, there is a simple in and out where the only way that you can become to, to be able to open a practice, whether you are a lawyer or a doctor, you kind of have to have um, the degree because mm -hmm. you will, there is no way to receive the practice and to be able to function as a doctor or as a lawyer without getting the degree, mm -hmm. right? It's A, B to C. Mm -hmm. Okay. With being a journalist, I agree. Like you could hypothetically learn um, that stuff outside of school. Or like even for example with computer science, I don't have to necessarily go to college. I can go and do Google boot camp for like three, four, five months and then get, get a job in Google starting like eighty thousand dollars a year. Exactly. Sure, fair enough. Um in the college at least that I go to, um, and I go to Baruch, there is a pretty good network of journalists, and I'm learning from them, and it's kind of like an accessible net. To be, mm -hmm. it's 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 somewhere. It's a physical, tangible place that I can go to, that mm -hmm. I can speak to people that are that are in that field, that do international work, that do domestic work, that do local reporting, and kind of learn those behaviors. And for me, that seems to be the easiest way to learn that skill set as of right now. Mm -hmm. It also is kind of convenient because I can get the degree and then people can get off. On thing. Yeah, yeah. So I was gonna say that's the so, most part. But that but second that's part, the, whole thing. the second part where you said networking, which is surrounding yourself with yes. like-minded people that yes. have actually achieved the things that you would like to achieve someday. Yeah, and you're learning from them. Essentially, they're mentoring you. That I agree with. Now, what's my and minor? That I right now, what's right. my minor? Because this is gonna get into what I think you're gonna bring up. Is my minor's new new media arts, which gets into like video editing, photo editing, um, being behind a camera, microphone, shit like that. Um, I took my first photography class like last semester. Unfortunately, I had to take the three. Th I took the two thousand level, and then I have to take the three thousand level in this semester. Bro, I still be teaching the professor like. And that's bro, what I was gonna I say. Are you actually learning? Or are you teaching? <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, it, and it gets hella annoying because it's like you're not getting access to the information that you want on demand. Mm -hmm. Um, and I kind of already know what I I already know what I don't know when it comes to photography and videography. Yes. Like, for example, I know that I'm not an expert when it comes to like maybe like audio mixing or, or after when it comes effects. to color grading or when it comes. Yeah. To, so now all it, it's a matter of doing is finding the people that do know how to do that mm -hmm. and learning from those people. And it just seems like that information is way more accessible when it comes to like going to YouTube or getting a master class or, mm -hmm. you know, doing stuff like or that. Or literally going on YouTube and then going on Instagram and then DMing and hitting them up and then hanging out with them. But like you giving yes, them something yes, for yes. free, especially, you know what I'm saying? Especially, especially in New York City, bro. I don't know if you know who Sneeko is. No, Sneeko. Do bro. <laughs> Dude, like, okay, Sneeko, Jimmy Zhang, um, Nichols Bryce. Like there's so many like underground, like, well, I wouldn't consider Sneeko underground, but there's so many like content creators in New York City and it, it's just, there's so much opportunity out there and like being able to network with them. So they did a meetup one time in the in Washington Square Park and I was able to meet with one of their camera guys who was using the same gimbal as me. And just from a five minute conversation, bro, I learned so much shit on like how to calibrate, how to um, how to be able, like how to balance cameras, how to position myself, how to walk with the, with the gimbal, bro. And it's like that shit, dude, it's like you don't learn that in like three hour fucking classes, yes, nope. dude, in college right now. Just from me watching someone for 10 minutes, walking up to them and having a conversation and that whole interaction took place in like an hour. I probably learned more in that interaction than I'm going to learn in the last year, mm -hmm. two semesters that I have in, my, in both of my photography classes. Yeah. That's the difference is that some skills, I feel like you can learn it from, uh, from college um and it, sometimes it's more accessible and it's easier to learn it through that avenue and then but 
I will admit that more often than not, and I agree actually with more often than not, there are so much more skills that you can just learn on your own if you really fucking want to. If you really fucking want to, bro, you can learn that shit on your own. Exactly. Premiere tab open on one t- on, on, on one end and Google Chrome open on the other. Dual monitors, one monitor, however the fuck you want to do it. Have that shit playing in the background and get your shit done, bro. That's it's pretty much that fact. simple. That's fact. All right. I want to touch on one last thing before we close the show. Uh-huh. You said you were doing a documentary, right? Oh, yeah. So I'm yes. actually, yo, I'm so, I really so want to fucking hear up about on this. this so um, for my journalism class, I'm actually doing a documentary on uh, what's going on. Uh, and the idea for the documentary was um in february when the semester started uh, i wanted to do it on palestine and then obviously with everything that's going on with uh you know is the israeli military and i don't know if you're familiar they be talking about it on the news sometimes but the israeli military is committing like ethnic cleansing and um basically violating like religious rights human rights to like palestinians that live inside of palestine Mm -hmm. um i wanted to do a documentary on um zionism so that's basically in I like it's like is that like Israel is like being like racist basically. Well, not necessarily Israelis, like well, Jewish people being racist. Or not Ju- no. Okay. So it's it's, it's a little bit more it's it's a little bit more comp- complex than that. Mm-hmm. But usually, if you are a Zionist, you just so happen to be Jewish because Zionism is a belief in the Jewish state, in a state that is Jewish, um, and Palestinians obviously don't believe in that mm-hmm. because even before Israel existed as a state. Um, they lived inside of Palestine and it wasn't really like that. There wasn't like issues. And the the whole idea that Israel should exist as a state, um, Zionists, like Zionists agree with that. But some of them go even further to say that like, you know, like Israel should be pure, pure blood Jewish, or it should be purely like, like you have to be Jewish to live in that, a country like that. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like a disrespectful and like ethno supremacist thing to say when you're talking What's- about a region where if people know their history, where Jesus was born, where it was the birthplace of Christianity, where there's so much history that touches up with Islam inside of that region, and it's not an exclusively Jewish region. And that is- What's, what, e- what's ethno? Is that what's So ethno supremacism is like the belief that, well, there's different types of ethno supremacies. Mm-hmm. Like for example, ethno supremacism is like, um, I don't know, like for example, remember what, what in Ukraine when shit was going batshit crazy and they were getting bombed by Russia, mm-hmm. that they were only letting white people, white native Ukrainians on the trains and they weren't letting black people on the trains. I know that. So, okay, yeah, there's that's a lot crazy. of shit that, okay, see? And then that's something that you learn from like going to school. And it's, right? it's basically, it's, it's, it's so, so it's, that's, it's, that's it's kind of like putting of the white- supremacism. Okay. That's an instance of ethno supremacism. Mm-hmm. So, um zionism is this belief in the jewish state right and people saying like oh like you know jews they have a right to a state because of what happened to them in history which obviously is fucked up like you know the holocaust and um not just even even before the holocaust there was a lot of instances in uh christian europe of like jews being you know persecuted but that Mm -hmm. isn't like a justification to be able to like ethnically cleanse an entire other population Mm -hmm. right so the whole documentary that i'm making is I, I wanted to interview like Palestinians and I also wanted to interview like Jews that I that identify with Israel or call themselves Israelis mm-hmm. and ask them how they feel about Zionism and what it means to them. Because I feel like even though I, I want to say no, but I will admit that I haven't researched it like to the teeth. Yeah. But so I will say feel, even though there's a lot of evidence pointing to Zionism being an ethno supremacist ideology um, that barely has sounds anything super complicated so oh, it's it's basically you know a saying? supremacist ideology just a group of people thinking yeah. that they're above others yeah um, do, do do they acknowledge that uh no or, no so, so it's basically are, like somebody else basically pointing a finger being like there are because there are self-proclaimed zionists that don't agree with what the israeli government does to the palestinian people but they still believe in like a jewish state kind of like nazis um Yes, I would say I would like say ideology. Yes and I would say yes and no because there 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 it isn't like a apples to apples comparison to compare Nazism to Zionism. No, I just mean the ideology. Like basically like yo, like I'm I'm better than you and this is why we we should we should be here and you shouldn't. Yeah, to be honest like, with and you. And that's yes. most simple to be honest way, with yeah. you to co- be completely honest with you, yes, in that way Zionism and Nazism is comparable. Yeah. It's just that instead of Nazism having white people with blue eyes saying that they're better than everybody else, mm-hmm. it's just Zionism Zionism is saying that because we're Jewish, we deserve this entire plot of land. And okay. um, some, some like like uh, like left wing Zionists that aren't like full blown Zionists will be like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. but you know, Arabs and Palestinians should be able to live with us side by side. 
But at the end of the day, you believe in a Jewish exclusive state. Yeah. But those for me, the, I feel I feel like in 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 the scenarios that you're bringing up a lot, it's like the religion and the belief power is really like the biggest um conf- conflict okay in between both that's, sides that's one of the biggest myths right? about the israeli palestinian conflict is that it has to do with religion yeah, but it you really, just brought up christianity like eight well times. no because i want to i want it's it because well, the it's history, on, on zionism though. because the history is important yeah so because because historically there is a lot of christian history and 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 islamic history and jewish history inside of palestine mm-hmm. to say that that country is exclusively jewish is like it's it's Eth- it's ethno supremacism. Yeah, but what, what I'm saying, and that's what I'm saying, that's based off religion, right? Um, no, because Ju- it's How not part it of not? Judaism to think that Jews are like more are better than everybody else. That's not part of the Jewish religion. No, no, I know that's not part of the religion, but it's based off their feeling, off their beliefs in their religion. Like they might change up the whatever. Because remember, religion is always changing depending, like the Bible, for example, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible was written by Constantine, right? Sure. And basically, it propelled about the thousands of virgins that came up. Yeah, you know, and, and that's my point: is that religion yeah. is always changing depending on who you ask. They have a different okay. view on it. So what I'm saying is, this is pro- this whole conflict is propelled, like from what I he- listening to, because I, I don't, I don't, I didn't research any of this. I don't know any of yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is mainly like focusedly driven through religion. So a lot of people, like, 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 like I said, one half, like maybe Israelis believe, yo, I belong here because of my religion. And then Palestinians are like, yo, I, we belong here because yes, of our religion and our history. The difference is this, the difference is this, is that Palestinians don't, so the um, Palestine is not a state that is inherently Islamic or inherently Christian. Mm-hmm. It's a state that housed all three, all three Abrahamic religions before Israel existed. Mm-hmm. So this idea that, again, like, it's not like they're, a Palestinians were never excluded Jews, at least not before, uh, you know, like Israel became a thing. But are they now? People would say yes, because there are, there are, um, there are organizations or rebel, like rebel groups or militias that- Isn't that like Hassan? Like Hamas, Hamas, oh, Hamas, yes. Hamas, okay. So Hamas, yes, but that only came as a result of, it's it's an overcorrection. You, you like see it how- doesn't, I, I feel like it just it's just it's just going back and forth like and it's, it's getting cycle. worse and worse and worse but, and worse. But the but these, these are all being perpetuated Hamas by exists, the conflict. Hamas existed as a response to the like that those yeah, premises. But exactly. does that mean that it's correct? It doesn't mean that it's no, correct. No, no, no. Mind you, like I don't want to get into like the because yeah, yeah. if if we're gonna talk about the history, I'm gonna be here for so yeah, no, long. No. And I kinda wanna cut into anime. Yeah. But basically <laughs> the point is this. I'm doing a documentary where and I go to a predominantly like Jewish college. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing a documentary where I'm interviewing Palestinians, Palestinian activists, mm-hmm. and I'm interviewing Israelis and Israeli activists okay, and good. Zionists okay. that so, on on their viewpoints and basically juxta right. like basically presenting them side by side. And um, in a subjective way, not or, necess- uh, I'm not uh, trying to sorry, necessarily sorry, sorry, prove objective, anything. objective, objective way, and like showing yeah. showing their and own come, beliefs, and then you and come you to your own your, conclusion. Exactly, exactly. Sorry, that's but what the, I was trying to say. So, and that. questions that people on both sides would want to ask one or the other, I would ask. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been a very hard process because uh, I mean, you're emotionally kind of invested I'm, in this I'm because you're on invested. one side essentially. Yeah, I'm and you got to sure. take yourself away from that and yes. be like, you, you. It's good though. It's good because you're making. Like you're doing something that's controversial, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You're like, yo, I have to treat these people that m- other people would like, uh, like other maybe my would family alienate, members would might, alienate those would kind alienate of those kinds of yeah, things. Yeah, and you're yeah, opening yeah. up the conversation exactly to be like, bro, that's why Jesus is here, bro. <laughs> that's why Jesus came through. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? There's actually one. There's it was crazy. I just want to say this because I saw this on TikTok today or, or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. something like this. It was like um, Jesus said that like we're all God or some shit like that, right? Like okay. in the Bible, there's a quote in the Bible sure. that says Jesus says like we we are all God. I'm not religious or anything like that. I'm sure. just I'm just saying like I saw that today and I was like yo like my entire belief when I was raised as a cat as a Catholic because I used to go to school like right here on. Uh, oh, you went to Lady. Yeah, bro. That's why I know I, I have some. I know you know because you're fucking. You're like you're you live near me, yeah, bro. Yeah, so the corner. Bro. There's no way you don't fucking. Know. Uh-huh. So fucking. So I I went there and and was raised as a Catholic and. I was raised to believe there that basically like everybody has a light of God inside of them yeah, yeah, based yeah, off yeah, the Holy yeah, Trinity. Yeah, like yeah, everybody yeah, is yeah. a part of God or whatever. And then when I, when I go talk to like other Catholics or other Christians or, or, you know, whatever, like basically alongside kind of the same beliefs, they're like, no, you can't say that. That's crazy. But I'm like, but we are, you know what I'm saying? And, and then my, my, also my, my, my biggest belief behind like the whole Jesus thing is basically like 
Jesus was like one of the first marketers that like just or like influencers. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the first influencers. He is. He subscribe be, to oh, subscribe to subscribe the to the Bible has been around for Damn. a thousand years. Damn. You know what I'm saying? He's bro, like bro. When you go to church, they have a bell and they have to ring it. Oh my god. Bro, I came to this Bars. conclusion a long time ago, bro. Notification, the first notification, the first, the first bell notification. notifications. Holy shit. That's crazy. It all, it all comes together. That's why, yo, that's why, like, <laughs> relax. These ideologies are just, like, crazy, know, bro. Like, the, know, way, bro. the way they just kind of come about <laughs> is insane. But, all right, all right, so let's just finish up with the anime. Oh, uh, yes, bro. I, I see you with the One Punch Man, um, the One yeah. Punch Man shit, The One bro. Punch and Genos, yes, sir. I, I I'm not a big anime guy, so like God, I'm not even a huge damn, bro. I I'm into to... One Punch Man, Death Note, and it's pretty oh, much so the basic shit. The real basic. I gotta shit. put you on. And then it's like bro. Naruto, like first five, six seasons, some shit like that. Bro, Never I finished the whole to... thing. Zelda, sit down for two seconds. Zelda, I Zelda, man, chill. I have to convince this man to get anime, to get into anime. <laughs> I right, listen, bro. Let me tell you a story, bro. Every single person, so, I, I love it. My girl hates it, bro. She wasn't even willing to watch it. Death Note, nah, nah, bro. Nah, 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 Almost nah, nah, left nah. her for that. Relax. <laughs> sit, sit, sit. Zelda. Sit. Down. Sit. Down. <laughs> Zelda. This is why I can never get a dog. Yeah, Zelda. <laughs> hey, down. This down. is the part where you have to put the standing down. by shit. Down. Yes. Yeah. Zelda. Down. Look, look, look. Down. Look at daddy. Look at daddy. Down. Down. Okay. Down. No, I think, I, think, I think he's good. I think she's good. I think she's good. For now, at least. Damn, so... Funny ass story. Um, my cousin, when he came from when he came from uh, Palestine and started living in in, in uh, the states, he was so into DC, and I fucking hated that those TV shows, bro. Those TV shows were fucking garbage. But he would he would try to convince me to watch that shit, and I would try to convince him to watch anime. He's like, man, no one's trying to watch that kid shit. Ironic, right? When this fucking bozo's watching the Flash and Arrow, right? <laughs> so, um, that relax. So I started getting into saying like. He wanted me to watch DC. I wanted him to watch anime. And um, I started watching like DC with him for a little bit. And he started, I started like uh, recommending him animes and like sitting, making sure that he would watch that shit in front of me. We would watch some shit together. Bro, I was like, I feel like we were both trying to play the waiting game. But my plan was to basically make him get into anime so that I could just stop watching DC. Yeah. And that shit worked, bro, because I started, I watched Arrow. I watched like the first three, four seasons. And okay, that shit was like pretty fun. I watched it yeah, yeah. only because Deathstroke, because I fuck with Deathstroke. Deathstroke heavy, I was able to like right. stomach that shit. But up until a point, like it just got so fucking corny. And then there was so many fucking crossovers. Bro, he wanted me, he didn't just watch me to want me to watch the shows. He wanted me to watch everything in chronological order. For example, if I would watch like an episode of, um, of Arrow, I would have to like, let's say I watch Arrow episode five, season one. Or I mean, season like three, I would have to go to Flash season two, episode three, and watch in chronological order. Oh, so that the, so that the crossover episodes would be all that bullshit, right? It's like, bro, not simple, man. I gotta let sit you down. You're gonna watch a comic. Ah, it's, first it was little shit, little shit. 20, <laughs> 20, 20, 20 episode animes, thirty episode animes. First anime I made him watch. He's like, oh, you think anime childish? We're gonna watch fucking a comic kill. And anybody that knows a comic that kill, is like bro, one of the best fucking anime knows that that ever. shit ain't yes. no child shit, bro. It ain't no child shit. People mm -hmm. box, people, people, oh, people are boxing. It's in that funny, show. I haven't seen that shit. That show, bro. I haven't you seen gotta, that shit. You and need to fucking watch that shit. Anybody that tells you anime is childish, they fucking finna watch that shit, bro. Because <laughs> you finna cry. People is gonna die. People is gonna throw hands. That shit goes fucking crazy. crazy yes. Then I was like, oh, you think anime can't have a deep plot? We finna watch Death Note next. This whole time I'm watching a little bit of DC with him, right? So we watch Death Note, right? We gotta get some range in there. Yes. Oh, uh, this guy knows, uh, gets a book from the sky and he can write people's names and he's a detective. Like, what the fuck? And then after Death Note, bro, I put him on to, uh, what did I put him on to after Death Note? Um, 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 Started watching like a little bit of Attack on Titan, right? Attack on Titan scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before, before the, the new season came out, I only right? seen two seasons. Bro, you fucking, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but sh shit gets wild. Shit, shit gets, gets fucking crazy. Watch shit gets crazy. But um, after we watched uh, uh, Attack on Titan, came up to date with that, I was like, my cousin's name is uh, Hamuda. So I was like, yo, you know what, Hamuda? Um, I think uh, I think you're ready. He's like, what you mean? You think I'm ready? I was like, bro, I think we can graduate you and you can watch your first anime that's above 100 episodes. He's like, oh, did I ask? Put him on to Hunter x Hunter. Oh, Hunter x Hunter. Oh, yeah. Yo. 
I never and watched then, that one, but then and then I after that. he watched Hunter x Hunter, because he was like, bro, I'm not trying to get into the big shows. I'm not trying to get into the big shows. I don't want to get into One Piece, Naruto. And then after that was Naruto. Naruto I know. <laughs> and then, bro, after that, Demon Slayer. Man, didn't watch DC ever the fuck again. <laughs> you know me, bro. Because bro, I convert, I convert that people, shit bro. consumes I your convert life. To that shit consumes. I convert your people to life. bro. That shit better, bro. That shit is just better, bro. Better did, stories, did, better writing, better everything. It is. Man. It is. The, uh, there's one writing. called Ghoul. Ghoul. Something? Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul. You like that one too? Um, I never watched it because I heard it. that the thing about me is that I will not watch a show if if the ending is gonna be like not good. Mm-hmm. And I'll give you an example. I was so ready to watch Game of Thrones, right? <laughs> when the when the final yeah. season came out. And then I was like, bro, I can't wait like for the final season to finish. And then I'm just going to watch everything one shot. Trash. Final season finished, right? All my friends that are into Game of Thrones are like, yo, this shit was so garbage. Da, 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 da. I was like, oh, dead ass? Thank you. I don't got to waste my time no more. Yeah, no, it would be like building. <laughs> it would be, bro, every, every episode is lit up to the last two or last episode at the very most. Like you would literally be teasing yourself, bro. For like the longest, if, if you if you sit down and watch the whole thing, the whole shit just for a shitty ending. I'm not just gonna for do a that shitty. Shit, yeah, I'm yeah. No, no, shit, you're right. You're bro, right. Bro, I've and dropped never... entire. I've dropped animes because they don't because they they mess up. They don't follow like the original writing or like anything. Mm-hmm. Like Promise Neverland is another example. Like when they came out with the second season, they didn't follow the original source material. Mm-hmm. So everybody just dropped that shit. I'm like, fuck it, bro. I'm not gonna watch the shit. I'm. Bro, I don't want to waste time, bro. Show me, show me what the writer intended. You don't want to waste scene, time, bro. bro. There's like there's so many unnecessary episodes in Naruto that I'm. Yeah, like, okay, I used to just what? I used to skip like ten episodes fam, ahead. Fam, fam, fam. But why would you skip those? Because you would go on the filler guides, right? And you know which episodes to skip. So just, bro. I, oh I, no, no, I, no, I never I did watch. that. I, I just, bro, I, you don't know about fillers. No, I didn't know. <laughs> bro, I'm about, to, I'm about to bless your life. So an anime that's 500 episodes, like Naruto, you could turn that shit into like 250. And you <laughs> only, you only watch the the not fillers. You watch canon. You watch okay. the canon shit. Ah. So there's like, you can go, like you could uh, go on like uh, websites and you can look like, look up Naruto ultimate filler list or ultimate filler guide, one piece, ultimate filler guide, bleach, ultimate filler guide. And basically it'll show you the episodes in green and the episodes in red episodes in red. You just skip that shit. And then when you oh, continue okay. watching the show, it'll be like, you never, like you didn't miss anything. Miss anything. Yes. Cause you're, yes. cause uh, what happens in anime is sometimes the, the person that's creating the actual like story, the manga, cause the manga mm-hmm. comes out first before the actual anime. Yes. Um, the anime um, creators are catching up to the manga. He's like, bro, you, y'all gotta chill out because I literally don't have any story like left. Yeah. So they're like, fuck. So then they have to make up their own bullshit story. And obviously they're not as good as the original writers. Exactly. So it ends up not being as good as the actual show. So that's why, like, usually sometimes I wait for the entire show to finish before I watch the entire thing. Smart. You got to plan. Bro, you got to plan, plan ahead. For your anime, but, bro, bro, nah, man, you got to get into this shit, bro. You got to get into the mix. Bro, but, you know something? My friend my friend put me on the same way, bro. Once he put me on Death Note, I've never, I was like, yo, like, I fucking love anime, bro. Nah, like, the fuck- way they tell the stories, you're right. There's just some different kind of storytelling yeah, bro. that they're able to tell. My my boy, my other photographer friend, it's crazy, yo, how are photographers all into fucking anime, bro? You know what I'm saying? Because they're good in, they want they want to tell a story, bro. You're so, you guys are you so passionate the about stories. the story, bro. I'm telling you, that's why, yo, I love anime. I haven't, I haven't watched Demon Slayer though and I hear everybody's like obsessed with that shit. Demon Slayer is good, but it's not better than Attack on Titan. It's not better. Okay, cool. So I'm watching Attack me. on Titan. I don't give a fuck. There's I'm mad gonna... people that be saying that shit, bro. I, Nah, bro. <laughs> Dude, I was, I was, I was. Ah, man, I saw this shit here. I was ready to like get into like some anime opinions with you, but you're not even well versed. Yo. I gotta convert. I gotta full. No, no, no. You're not into anime, bro. I gotta I'm fully not, convert I'm you. Not, I'm not. You know I'm, what I'm beginner. Is? I'm like, I'm like 101. You, you know, know what you saying? know what an you know, otaku is? No, that's not. someone that is like super like into that. Like you know how people call like 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 you know what furries are? Like they dress up in the whole like animal type shit, oh, and like people God. look at them like weirdos because like they're dressed up as you. Come on, bro. You know what a fucking furry is. No, I don't know what that is. Oh my god, dude! It's like the people that dress up like in in like animal costumes and shit and act like dogs and cats. Okay, okay. I know like, this Comic Con. Okay, bet. But they, but sometimes they do in their regular lives. But in otaku is like is like the anime version of that. They're just fucking obsessed, bro. Obsessed. Telling you, I'm fucking obsessed with this shit, bro. Every single person I talk to, if you're not if you're not into anime, like I'm gonna make you like. You're gonna anime. fucking love that shit, bro. You're you gonna have what? Dragon Ball Z honestly, posters. In honestly, your crib. you should really meet my friend Edwin, and you guys should team up and fucking, um, you know, one day go go on a shoot or whatever, whatever the fuck, bro. You, you guys are gonna fucking have a blast, bro. Like talk, mash about anime, or you know, you know what? I'm gonna have you back, and I'm gonna have him on. Yo, and, and then I'll, I'll watch Attack anime. on Titan. I'll finish it or whatever, and then we'll talk about that shit. How about that? Fuck. All right, now nah, that should be fire. All right, yo. So I'm gonna come back. 
Yeah, bro. Of course you're gonna come back, bro. Oh, what the fuck you mean? This is not your only fucking, fucking lit, one, bro. Baby. This is this is, bro. I don't. When I bring people <laughs> it's on, not bro, a one this, and done. yeah, it's not a one and done for <laughs> me, bro. This is a fucking like, yo. If you ever want to come back, if you want to collaborate, yo, like, we're, we're gonna stay in touch. You know what I'm saying? This is this is what real networking is about, yeah. bro. You we, ha- might, we might see this video after like ten years when we're millionaires and exactly, exactly. content creator yeah. moguls and shit. Who the fuck knows, bro? Life's crazy, bro. <laughs> Life's crazy. Damn. Just gotta do something today. But yo, today I gotta fucking be out. <laughs> so yo, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, thank you for for coming on, bro. This was fucking fire as shit, nice. bro. Honestly, like, bro, I, like even the way this just all came about was fucking amazing, bro. So yo, thank you for coming on, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. We out. Leave a like notification bell bro how could you forget about the notification bell ah fuck all that shit. your name is jesus bro you gotta get the notification bell fuck with it y'all fuck with it y'all fuck with it y'all fuck with it <laughs>